Hello everybody and welcome back to another episode of Project Nexus. Today, we're going to hell. It's just a couple things that we need to get first. First, we find some lava or, I don't know, a nearby lava pool or something, and turn it into obsidian. If I burn to death while trying to get this lava, it will be them thematically accurate, but also not swag. So I'm gonna try and avoid doing that. Thank you, Minecraft. Very nice of you to say that about me. Now we just combine the two. Um, and then mine it with our shiny new diamond pickaxe. This only gave me one. I don't think I've thought this through. Ah, that looks like a likely spot to find some lava pools. Unfortunately, it also looks like a likely spot to find things that want to kill me. I'll keep looking further afield. Wait, I'm an idiot. I was wondering where I'd found a bunch of lava before, but it turns out that the portal that I'm trying to restore actually has a bunch of lava, like, right there. What am I doing with my life? Nothing important, obviously, or else I'd have more brain cells to spare for this, dear god. Now we can get cracking. Turns out, there was an almost fully built portal already here, and I've gotten- and I've gone ahead and gotten enough obsidian to fully create it. So, if we just remove this block, place that down there, burn across, Commit witchcraft by drinking a potion, and finally, light it on fire with a flint and steel, we should be good to go. I'm going to be honest with you right now, I've never actually visited the nether before, and I have no idea where I'm gonna end up there, and I have all my good gear on me, so I probably won't be in there for long, but I mean, hey, what could go wrong? In we go, boys. Let's hope I don't die immediately to beasts. This is possibly like the worst biome I could have spawned in. Great, we're on the right track then. Let's not touch this place for another 30 minutes. This is because, as everybody knows, it's really stupid to go into the nether for the first time with your good gear. Also, I crafted seven and a half stacks of cobblestone slabs for a purpose that will become clear, hopefully, in the next 15 seconds. Now, you see, Crimson Force biomes are very, very well known for them spawning hoglins, and they are also very well known for the fact that they don't spawn a lot of teal mushrooms, which the hoglins are scared of. This makes them one of the worst biomes to, to, to get out of when you first enter the nether, and it's fine. It's fine, I'm definitely not having any difficulty with this whatsoever, but the thing is, okay, mobs, if you put a slab on the bottom half of a block, like this, so that you can get up and down it easily like this, mobs cannot spawn on it. This is really, really useful when you're creating a path through places in the nether because things tend to spawn there, and now they can't. This will not protect me from ghasts and the like, however, it will hopefully prevent me from dying horribly in five minutes if everything goes well. Also, before I forget, I'm gonna get some wood here to chop to make into ladders because to be completely- because I'm gonna be, uh, this regular cobblestone I'm gonna have here for emergency purposes and I'm also going to be making pillars with ladders to get up to those because, you know, mobs can't climb pillars. I have thought this through a whole lot. Ow. Now, we have, like, a couple minutes to make sure that we get this absolutely perfect, so in we go, I guess. Okay, step one. Make a cobblestone box around the portal just so that whatever spawns can't actually, like, get in, get in and hurt you when you spawn it, because that would be bad. And hoglins have a crazy hitbox range, so you don't want to do that. Like, historically, it's pretty bad if that happens to you. That is also why I brought all of this cobblestone. That should be good, maybe, I think. Oh, I keep forgetting how long it 
takes to break these as well, but it's fine. I am not wearing gold armor. Hold on. This has them breaking three on it, so hopefully that should do something. Step two, get a letter on probably both sides of this would be best, and then slab off the top just so that, you know, if anything wants to spawn here. No, it doesn't. You do not want to spawn here. You are not, in fact, going to spawn here. I'm going to just very, very quickly go down here, put ladders over here, and now we have a safe way both in and out of our little cubby hole portal area. Step four, bridge over into a nearby wall and pray. Now, you see, the praying is important because, although I'm not religious, there is a lot of lava just casually lurking around here in the nether, and I would like to do my best to make sure that this lava uh, doesn't hurt me, because that would be bad. Also, there's just a lot of things in the nether in general. For example, these very bad falls that would, oh god, they're fighting, oh god, they're going at it. Okay, I'll just, I'm just gonna casually just, uh, go over that real quick, and then we, and then we can just continue going on with our lives as if that didn't happen. Hey dude, how's it, how are you, you doing I? Right? Yeah, sweet, uh, I'm just gonna casually put these here, because I know we're chill, but also I really don't want you attacking me, so you get that? We good? Yeah. Okay. Sweet. Pickles are actually super chill. People just hate on them because they weren't wearing the proper armor and they just don't- and so they got attacked, which, to be completely honest, skill issue. Like, that's just- that's just straight up a skill issue, man. My pickaxe broke. <laughs> okay, that's a zombie. That's a spider. Um, okay, okay, just stab it. Many times. Many, okay, huh. I wasn't that bad, but also, ow. Dude. Do you mind? Well, on the upside, I now have enough strength to craft a bow. Nice. Okay, back to the nether. Uh... I'll just go this way for now. Okay. Uh, we have arrived at the first open stretch of the nether that we have seen this far. Uh, I don't see any fortresses hold on okay this fog is so thick that i can't see anything but i think we're in a good spot now we just continue bridging over and hope that we don't die horribly actually uh these warped forests are great for trying to get to the end of the game because uh endermen spawn them i think so yeah not too shabby at all actually Look, I can't see anything in this fog. Hold on, just, uh, no, just let me. Ah, there we go. That is way better and just as terrifying, if not more, actually, dear God. However, it doesn't look like there are any fortresses around here, so... I think that we're gonna have to go on foot, most likely through that nether waste biome, to look further afield, even though that's absolutely terrifying. And this is really, really scary. <laughs> well, I guess to cover as much uh, ground as we possibly can, the best way to go now would be the opposite direction. Oh? Oh? 
Yes! I think it- I think it's time to go back and craft that bow now. <laughs> oh my god, it's incredible to be able to feel the fresh air again, though. Like, I don't think many people tell the, tell you this, but it's ab- but it's absolutely suffocating in the nether. All the breezes you get there? Hot. Like, you have no re- like, there's no release. I crafted 21 arrows, as you can see, that should hopefully do it. I don't know what's gonna- what's gonna happen after this, but... Mm. Let's go. Please tell me the ghast has despawned. Please, please. Oh god. Okay. Okay. Uh, down there. We need to get down there. Okay. We go at it from down here. We should have a better chance of surviving, I think. Okay, this thing is huge, actually. We should be fine. Please, just get into frame so that I can kill you. Is it too far away? I think it's too far away. Okay, let's not go down there. I mean, we can, but it wouldn't be advisable. If that thing sees us right now, we're dead. Like, I'm absolutely going to die. inside of a chunk of wall or whatever like I think we have here hopefully whether skeletons are three blocks tall so they can't get through but I did not intend to plate to make the sign of the cross right there anyways so basically what's gonna what's going on here It's always useful to bring doors and trapdoors and things like that with you when you go to another fortress for this one reason. If you have yourself in a little room that you've closed off, like I have, in a dead end, then you can go then you can go back here whenever you're low on health or whatever, and you know, top up and you'll be fine. But if you get yourself some fences and you get yourself some fence gates and you get yourself some stairs. What you can do is, when you eventually get to the blaze room, you can have a place where you can hit them from within the gap in the stairs from the outside, and with a couple of very rare exceptions, they will not be able to hurt you. Which is important. Be 
because blazes hit really hard and they hit fast. So, if you're able to kill them, and then, and then you get them, and then you get their blaze rods, and then you get out of there quick, you'll be fine. Theoretically. <laughs> to Finscates. We will be able to basically have this thing where we can where we can get through and pick up the blaze rods, but the blazes themselves will not be able to. And if we take something like Deep Slate and craft that into a whole bunch of stairs, 40 isn't a lot, but it'll but it works well enough for the idea I have in mind, then Theoretically, everything will be just fine. We also need to craft a door. Possibly several doors. Those will come in handy and get some and get some more ladders because ladders are always useful. Ethos Lab, I'm talking about you. Get out, get off my lawn! Lord. I also completely forgot to mention this, but you're also going to want a chest. That will come in useful later. Okay, chest. Put down basically any spare stuff you might have. Keep the keep keep some solid blocks and also some cobblestone and probably some arrows. Those will be useful. I don't know if we're gonna need doors, but yeah, I'll just keep them in here just in case. Flint and steel goes in there. And I think. We should be good. One of the most important aspects of raiding another fortress like this one is not getting hit by a wither skeleton. Because the wither skeletons are really, really fond of just straight up killing you. There's also a ghast, which is great. I'm down to three arrows. This could not be going worse. Okay, whatever, not important. There's a wither skeleton. It's trying to kill me. How about, are you kidding me? This is not going well. This is not going well, 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 this is not. And I repeat, this is not going well. This is not going well. Oh my, okay, okay. Okay, uh, let's get back home and maybe not go that way this time. I think we came from over there. <sighs> I swear to God, y'all, my life flashed before my eyes. I didn't know piglins could open doors. Thank you for coming in here with me, but uh, you need to... Please kindly find your way out. Um... Okay, thank you for shutting the door behind you. It's just, okay. okay. If there are any lower levels to this fortress at all, we are going to want to... This is not going to be fun. Wonder if I can hit this one from here. I have run out of arrows. I think the answer to that question is no. I don't like these guys, for the record. Like, I just straight up don't like these guys. Okay. That's a blaze. Don't know if he can see me through here. Do we just go for it? I think I'm just gonna go for it.
Okay. Well, that was easier than I thought it was gonna be. Okay, here's what we're looking for. This right here. So. Make sure you're like actually in a spot where they can't get you. That is somewhat important because if they get you, then you are dead. And we do not want to be dead. We want to be as undead as possible. Not in a zombie way, but just in like a generally alive kind of way. Right. Gonna mine some netherrack here just to make sure we are completely, and I mean completely, surrounded on all sides. Because I cannot stress enough, if you get got by one of these, you are just got. Forever. Frame drops. Very cool of you, Minecraft. But we did get a blaze rod, so that's a bonus. Okay. We are now completely filled in. So. I put the. I put everything in the. Okay. See? Like that. Actually... Hey, look at me, boys! Look at me! I'm right here! Come and get me! I know you wanna! You know what? This could be going way worse right now, actually. Brain cell moment. Me and I have brain cells. So, yeah, you just do this. I guess, and we are- and we only really need six blaze rods. Well, okay, maybe a couple more. A little bit more than that. But... Oh, they can't even reach me. Yep. Okay, that's good. Let's get the hell out of here before my luck runs out and I just die horribly. Which way did I come from? Knew it. Knew it. Called it. Literally knew that was going to happen. Ow. Stop it. Get help. Killing people is not the way to, to a sustainable lifestyle, you idiot. You fool. You absolute buffoon. Get help. Get help. You are literally an entity of darkness. Go get therapy or something. God. Let's get back home before some before life decides to kill me horribly or something or whatever happens. <clears throat> well, I'd uh, I'd say that was pretty successful. I don't know how I didn't die at all during that. I think I my luck has been insane today. Like, absolutely buck wild. You know, I could also go and get some ender pearls from the nether really quickly since I have enough blocks to. Well, you'll see that method later because I am exhausted after all that, man. It's not easy to be doing. It's not easy to do all that, especially with a bionic arm. I don't show it a lot on camera, but I'm probably gonna have to take a couple hours break and just rest without this, because... Ugh. Thing is like three pounds heavier than a normal arm, and I've gotten used to it over the years, but... Yeah. I'm gonna go take a break. I think that- I think that is the end of today's episode of Project Nexus. Thank you all for watching. 
don't like, don't subscribe, I'm not your mom, and I will see you all next time. Goodbye!